Hello and welcome to this tutorial where I want to draw a silhouette and um, oh, it can be anything you want actually. So this is my reference picture, my uh, source of inspiration with a couple kissing there. But my choice is to draw in a little girl with her good friend, her dog. But what I love is the, the little bench there. And it's, uh, well, at the boulevard you can see the sea. And for uh, a silhouette you can choose anything you want. So take something that appeals to you the most. And that can be anything, it can be an elderly couple or joggers or uh, kids playing with kites or something. You can pick anything you want. And this is how I would go about if I wanted to make a pre-study for a, a bigger project. And I thought this was, well, very inspirational. And I want to draw friendship, the friendship between uh, man and animal. And I've picked uh, the 23 by 16 centimeters. So it's not a huge drawing at all. It's just a sketch. And what you want to do first is to uh, decide where your horizon will be. And, um, well, that is actually the part of where uh, the, the, the sky meets the sea, the water. And that's uh, instantly your horizon. In this case, it's quite low on the drawing page. And what I also wanted to keep, I wanted to keep the little bench there because I love the shape and the sight of the um, uh, of the holders that uh, hold the, the bench up that's made out of metal. And here it is attached together. And you can see the seat here. And this is the side for where uh, the, back is, the back is going. And that is also metal. And then you can see two planks there for uh, to rest your back upon. And I thought it was a neat, neat uh, shape kind of bench. Now this is where the arm would go. So the side arm and this all together will make my silhouette of the bench. So I've colored that in with a little bit of pigments. And for this drawing, I'm using a simple charcoal pencil. That's my study pencil. Uh, but of course you can also use a graphite pencil, so that's no problem at all. And in between the lines will be the girl and the dog. And this part is where the sky will be the lightest. And I make sure that is uh, directly behind our two main objects, the girl and the dog. Then I take my pencil and I keep it really, really flat so I can put in a lot of pigments very quickly indeed. And I also do that on uh, the front part, which is, uh, well, there, there are tiles there, uh, street tiles, and this is then uh, the side of the pavement. And this is my Pampastel knife. Uh, you can use brushes or pampastel knives to push in the pigments. The pampastel knife is the fastest and I always have one around. I use it, it works very quickly and it is also ideal for creating uh, some kind of clouds and well it's just a perfect tool for you it's not uh, it's not uh, very expensive indeed it's just a, a plastic holder with a little sponge on it and then you can uh, rub in everything very quickly and very easily so this is uh, where I uh, rub in everything all the pigments into the paper but I also use little circular motions to create clouds here um, 
on top. It can even go a little bit darker. So I put a second layer on uh, the highest point of the drawing in itself. And also this I push in again with the Pampastel knife. And the sky at the top should be the darkest. And a, a full tutorial can be found on my Patreon page, of course. It's uh, an hour and about a quarter hour. So then you can draw along with me in real time if you want. Also, you can find the reference pictures there. Now, this is my kneaded eraser. And the kneaded eraser also is very, very nice for creating uh, clouds or even those, those magnificent beams of sunbeams that come down from behind the clouds. So, a kneaded eraser is a very, very nice to have, but this is also very nice. This is my uh, pencil eraser. And this is an eraser that can be sharpened with, uh, with the pencil sharpener. And in that way you always have a very sharp eraser at hand. And also this kind of eraser can be used as a drawing tool to draw in uh, the tip of the clouds that pick up uh, a little bit of uh, sunlight. So this is a very, very amazing tool to draw with. And this is a white pastel uh, pencil and charcoal and white pastel can be combined together very nicely too. So for my studies this is the part where you can just see uh, the sky through the clouds. So it's, it's creating some kind of a gap in the firmament and it's very nice. Now, if you picked a uh, silhouette and you have difficulty drawing that, then simply place a layer of graphite on the back of your reference picture and then use a uh, pencil to pick up those pigments. And then you can very easily copy your choose of silhouette. Of course, you can also draw it from freehand as we did with the bench. But if you have difficulty drawing uh, a very uh, difficult silhouette, then uh, this is a very neat trick, of course, to, um, well, to get your silhouette on the paper without any um, little faults in there. And um, also, it's, it, it, um, well, it, it helps you to uh, be a little bit quicker about it and then you can just focus on uh, whether or not this is what you want on your on your drawing now the the girl is holding uh, holding out her hand and the the dog is putting his paw in her hand I thought that was very nice indeed so I think it's uh, well it's a good silhouette I think. Maybe I will make some more studies, I'm not sure. I alter the silhouette a little bit, make the hair a little bit more bouncy and then uh, when I'm happy with the silhouette then I simply can put in the charcoal pigments within those lines. So I make sure to uh, stay within those lines and then I gradually push up the pigments a little bit, putting in uh, some layers of charcoal uh, pigments and then just see how dark I should go. Now I don't want it to be all black because, uh, well, I think that's a bit, well, dull to see. So I want to put in a little bit of gradations of grey even within those silhouettes and here for the dog I do the same thing so I simply put in uh, oh, tipped out the ear a little bit there uh, put in a layer of charcoal pigments again 
and just see what that does. So here and here and there I push a little bit harder and a little bit softer just to see if I can uh, keep a little bit feel of 3D even though um, well there are silhouettes but there uh, should be a little bit to see within those <coughs> within those dark areas. Well, the side of the pavement should be darkest and then I pick up the pampas till knife again and I push in the pigments so that I get a rather nice blurry silhouette. So you can just see a little bit of uh, differences of, uh, well, different kinds of shades of grey within those silhouettes and it makes them look a little bit more transparent. So that is why I choose uh, not to make them all black, but if you want to do that, sure, please do. It's no problem at all, but I think it's uh, a little bit more soft when you do not push it all uh, all the way down to the black. So that's my choice. It's just a study of course and I'm, I'm seeing if it's working and if it's pretty enough to make this, uh, to make out of this kind of a, uh, a theme and then make it uh, a bigger drawing there or something and just see what happens. So these are the beams, I like them. And they also make it that uh, all the uh, attention will go towards the little girl and her dog. So that's neat. Uh, make sure that the sky behind the silhouettes is uh, as bright as possible, of course. And the area of the sea, the surface of the sea, is uh, the lightest. So this is where uh, the, the light bounces, <coughs> it bounces off the surface of, uh, of the ocean behind them or the sea. And I also want to put in a little bit of structure here on uh, the pavement just in front of us. And I think this looks pretty nice. So I'm still uh, deciding what to do, maybe put in some birds, some seagulls uh, way uh, in the far away and just, uh, well, make some, some whimsly uh, dots and stripes, the dots for the far away birds like this and it's always nice to put in a little bit of white upon the wings with the pencil eraser so uh, well this can be seagulls and what I also did is put in a little bit of color into the charcoal drawing just for my imagination and then I uh, have my sketch my setup sketch for uh, work to come in the future so absolutely lovely way of, of studying and uh, of course you can find uh, the full real-time tutorial in real time on my Patreon page together with all the reference pictures. So I would say uh, thank you for watching and I wish you all the fun and all the success in creating your own theme um, charcoal sketch or graphite sketch and maybe work that out later on. So I hope to see you of course again in my next tutorial or on my Patreon page and I will see you again in the next tutorial. Thank you for watching.